everyone. Xin chào mọi Try người. Xin chào mọi người. Hello everyone. How are you today? Hôm nay mọi người uh, thế nào ạ? Let's see who's watching. Hello mọi người ơi, mọi người có thể uh, nói xin chào được không? So can you say hello? I would love to know who is um, who is watching and I want to say hello to you. <cười> anh chào em nhá. Xin chào anh uh, Brandon. <cười> anh Brandon đang ở đâu thế ạ? Xin chào Joan, nice to see you again. How uh, how are you? Uh, Joan có khỏe không? Xin chào. We have five people watching. So can you say can you say hi? Xin chào mọi người, em tên là Quỳnh Trang ạ. My name is Quỳnh Trang. Nice to, nice to see you all. Okay. Oh, anh uh, anh Brandon đang ở Úc à? Okay. Ở Úc bây giờ đang là mấy giờ ạ? À? Đang là buổi sáng hay uh, buổi chiều? So, uh, what time? Is it now in Australia? <coughs> chào buổi sáng, chào buổi sáng John. À, John, uh, John đang ở Mỹ đúng không? Nên là. So John, are you in America? I still remember you from uh, the previous live stream. How are you today? Hôm nay uh, John có khỏe không ạ? Hello, anh James. <laughs> nice, to, nice to see you here. Okay. Bây giờ Úc đang là 10 giờ tối à? Uh -huh. Ok So uh, how um, yeah, Today is, uh, Hà Nội is um, like The weather in Hà Nội is very beautiful It's getting warmer Hôm nay uh, thời tiết ở Hà Nội uh, Rất là đẹp Trời uh, ấm hơn rồi ạ Bây giờ đang là 24 độ Okay. So how's the weather in uh, in your place? Thời tiết um, ở chỗ của mọi người thế nào ạ? À? Xin chào Edmund. Edmund đang ở đâu thế ạ? So where are you, Edmund? Oh, John is driving. <laughs> okay, you're driving and you still are following us. <laughs> ah, okay. Joan đang ở Pháp và bây giờ là một giờ chiều. Mm -hmm. Mọi người ơi. Um, Uh, Việt Nam uh, Việt Nam sắp mở cửa uh, đón khách du lịch vào uh, ngày 15 tháng 3 sắp tới vậy uh, khi nào mọi người sẽ sang Việt Nam so uh, Việt Nam is, um, is opening is opening up for international tourists for foreign for foreign tourists 
So, when do you have any plan coming to Vietnam? And when? <laughs> Xin chào, con Mays. Em đang ăn cơm à? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's seven p.m. here in um, in Vietnam. Bây giờ đang là bảy giờ tối ở Việt Nam ạ. Brandon, hôm nay hôm nay trời đẹp. Ừ, hôm nay có trời đẹp à? You just say hôm nay trời đẹp thôi nhá. Ừ, hôm nay trời đẹp. Wow, we have so many people watching. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are very um, grateful uh, to receive uh, your support. Yeah, and your yeah, and, and you know, we are glad to know that you are interested in uh, in the um, live stream. So thank you very much. Xin chào, xin chào, hôn mê, xin chào. Uh, Elzan, I'm good, thank you. And chào, chào, Jay Chua, xin chào. Okay, so yeah. So, uh, yes, I want to say hello again to everyone and... Uh, I'm very happy to see you guys here. Um, there's some familiar, uh, familiar faces and also some new people. So I hope that we will um, enjoy um, the time we had together. We're, we will have a good time together. Okay, so as you already seen uh, on the screen, um, today's live stream topic is animal similes okay so animal simile um is like is an expression um that people use that uh, that people use uh, to like describe maybe like personality or the appearance or some characteristic of someone or something like it is used to compare right the characteristic with um with uh, the same com uh, the, the common thing of an animal um, and which will make your speaking sounds more fun and more interesting. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let let's start uh, our live stream uh, right uh, right now. And um, before we uh, we go into detail uh, about each simile, I want to introduce. So here on the screen, um, I have uh, a few uh, animals that you will see. Uh, during uh, today's uh, live stream and do you know like all of the uh, all of the animals here do you know like how many people uh, how many animals here do you know so so can you can you guys tell me mọi người uh, biết những con vật gì ở đây ạ? Let's see uh, how many animals you can you can list here. Okay. Con mèo, uh -huh, chính xác đúng rồi. Đây con mèo có con mèo ở đây đúng không? And uh, what else? Okay, so let me help you. Here, I have the name of the animals here. So now can you help me to match the name of the animal with the correct pictures? Yes, con bò là một. Mm -hmm. Yes. Một là con bò, chính xác, đúng rồi chị uh, Joan, đúng rồi Brandon ạ, that's correct And what about con đỉa, 
Have you ever heard about con đỉa before? Con mèo. Hi, hello Trivial. Xin chào. Con rùa. Uh -huh. Đúng rồi, we have con rùa. Five là D. Okay, so yes, I will introduce each animal here to you. So we have A, con trồn. Have you ever heard about cà phê trồn? It is, it is one uh, kind of coffee, cà phê trồn, um, which Vietnamese is quite famous for. So we have cà phê trồn là the weasel coffee. So we have the first one, con trồn là the weasel. Have you uh, tried uh, the weasel coffee before? Mọi người đã uống cà phê trồn bao giờ chưa? Ba là con trồn, đúng rồi, chính xác. Ok. Rồi, tiếp theo, B là con đỉa. Con đỉa means the leech. L-E-E-C-H. Ok. And con đỉa. Also, um, this one I, I haven't seen a lot recently. Um... It is uh, the leech is the one that that you can see on the field on, on some rice field or in the forest that um, if you have if you have it on your body it will suck your blood it, it will suck the blood of, of human or, or animals so yeah con đỉa là number six that is right that is correct Joan so have you uh, have you guys ever seen uh, a leech in real life before? Okay, and uh, next one. C, we have con control. Control means the buffalo. So it is, it goes with number one. Okay. Control, nha. Buffalo, and then D. I think D is you can uh, everyone knows. Con mèo. This is a very interesting word because it is actually the sound of the cat. Mèo đúng không? So we call it con mèo. It's very easy to remember. Okay. Yes. Đúng rồi. Edmund A. And we go with number four. That is correct. No, uh, number four is con rùa nhá. Con rùa means the turtle. So if you live in um, in Hanoi, uh, there is a uh, turtle tower in the middle of Hoàn Kiếm Lách, and we call that tower Tháp Rùa. Okay, Tháp Rùa means the the turtle uh, the turtle tower. And yes, of course, last one là con kiến, the ant. Đúng không? Number two. Okay, so these are six animals you will see, you will meet in uh, today's live stream, and we will see um, which simile we will go, uh, we will use with each uh, of these animals. So, here, animal similes we will use one um, characteristic of some people or something, and then we use the word new. New means like. Or as okay and then the animals okay so here based on this picture it means as far as the pig well, can you tell me can you tell me what do I want to say here or what uh, animal simile I want to say here <laughs> Joan con dia rất Ghê sợ à? Yes. Yeah, it's, um, it's very scary. Mm -hmm. So,
do you want uh, uh, do you know what I want to say here mm -hmm. do you know um, what what is pig in uh, Vietnamese pig là con gì nhỉ Edmund là con heo uh -huh. Đúng rồi <cười> Béo phì Ok But here when, when you put it in the structure Like on the, uh, like on the screen This is béo phì đúng không? Béo or béo phì Béo phì is more like obese But béo uh, is just fat Ok And then we have the word new And then this uh, the pig which is con lợn or con heo. So here we have the 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 animal. Uh, this animal simile is béo như lợn, or some people can say béo như heo. Heo is more um, heo is also pig, but uh, it's more like southern accent. So yeah, basically you can say both béo như lợn or béo như heo. Đúng không? So. We have the structure here. You can use an adjective, a verb, or a verb phrase, right? And then new, and then the name of the animal. It's very um, simple structure, and then you will have an animal simile. Okay? Đúng rồi. Uh, Joan, Joan nơi mập như con heo. Uh, it should be the hat, not the smiley face. Okay? Mập. Mập also means fat. So yeah, you can say mập như con heo. I như con heo nè. <laughs> okay. No, so um, let's move. Uh, let's move on to the next very uh, to, to the very first simile. So we will talk about the ant con kiến. Okay. So can you tell me? Can you name um, every characteristic that you you can think of? about an ant what is like an, an ant can you tell me it can be you can uh, name a verb you can you can name uh, an adjective or a verb phrase what do you think so when you think about an ant What comes to your mind first? It can be used in this animal simile, can you guess? Anan is... Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can see um, some of your guests. Yeah, some of your guests here. Chăm chỉ như kiến, mm, that, that, that one is a very good one. Chăm chỉ means hardworking. Yes, the R is very hardworking. So yeah, that makes sense. Xin chào, Haka, Haka, Haka Ma. Cá mập à? Làm việc. Mm -hmm. Yes. Brandon là nhỏ như kiến. Nhỏ, um, nhỏ with a question mark tone Small, đúng không? Yes, đúng rồi, nhỏ Làm việc Chăm chỉ như kiến Yeah, I can see most of you here Yes, chăm chỉ như kiến Okay Okay, so I, I can hear uh, I can see some of the of the guesses Yes, but here I want to narrow down The three characteristics of kiến nhé. That is nhỏ Okay, nhỏ means small Okay Dong, do you know what dong is? Is it, it, it is also another interesting word in Vietnamese. Dong. And the third one we have chăm chỉ, just like you said. Anyone know what dong dong means? Okay, so we have the word dong means 
a lot of people okay don't mean busy or a lot a lot of people uh, a lot of people you can say for example quán cà phê rất đông means um, the coffee shop is uh, very busy or the coffee shop has a lot of people yes or crowded exactly hakama đúng rồi Dong also means crowded, okay? So the first uh, simile I want to introduce here, which is Dong như kiến, okay? Because kiến has a lot of it, has a lot of them. Well, so it is, um, it is used to refer to a place that has a lot of people, that is very crowded, okay? Yes, so Dong, dong means crowded or busy or has a lot of people okay trivial so yeah you can say look at the picture you can say hôm nay đường đông như kiến okay it means today the road or the streets is um, very crowded or very busy hôm nay đường đông như kiến okay So, um, what do you think um, you can um, you can mix um, sentence with Dong Yu Kien? Where else you can think uh, you think uh, can be Dong Yu Kien? Or let's say um, let's take this um, how to say let's uh, complete this sentence. Vào mùa hè, where do you think will be as Uh, will be as crowded as the ants. Và mùa hè chỗ nào ở ở đâu sẽ đông như kiến ạ? Can you make um, the sentence? Can you finish the sentence? Oh yes. Đúng rồi. Đông also uh, means the east, but it often goes with uh, other word like phía đông mean um, the east side yes or hướng đông means the east direction so vào mùa hè where it can be very crowded can you um, accomplish the sentence mm-hmm Yes, very good one. Đúng rồi. Uh, chào, xin chào, chào. Vào mùa hè, các biển sẽ đông như kiến. That one is a very good sentence. So, chào say, in the summer, all the beaches will be uh, very crowded. Các biển, or các bãi biển. Okay? Okay, hello, hello, Bashis. Nice to meet you. Yeah, your, your sentence is also good. Đúng rồi, hồ bơi, the pool. Đúng không? Và mùa hè, hồ bơi đông như kiến. Mm -hmm. The pool will be very crowded. Yes, and I can say in Hanoi, in Hanoi, um, vào mùa hè, các quán bia hơi. <laughs> you know, quán bia hơi means, quán bia hơi means the beer restaurant. <laughs> All the beer, beer restaurant will be crowded. So, các quán bia hơi đông như kiến. Đúng không? Or, yeah, bãi biển sẽ đông như kiến. Okay, so so that is the, 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 the first um, simile, đông như kiến. Okay. <coughs> okay, so coming to the second one, here we have the word chậm. Okay, chậm means slow. Okay, so we have chậm như, we have four uh, options, chậm như mèo, chậm như trồn, chậm như trâu, hay là chậm như rùa. Okay, so mèo, trồn, trâu o, rùa. Can you guess? Which animal is slow?
Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, you guys, all guess that is the turtle, con rùa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know maybe you, you based on the, the story, maybe everyone knows the story of, of the turtle and the rabbit. The, tur the turtle, um, even though it is slow, but it, it still win the race, win the, uh, win the, the game, win the race eventually, right? Yes, exactly, đúng rồi mọi người ạ. Correct everyone, so we have this, the next one is chậm như rùa nhá. Chậm như rùa means uh, as slow as a turtle, okay? Vậy mọi người nghĩ, mọi người nghĩ, you think, mọi người làm gì chậm như rùa? So you think, um, is there any activity? Or, yeah, you, you, you did it, uh, you do it as, slow, as slowly as a turtle in your daily life. For example, I can say, um, uh, I can say bạn của, <laughs> I can say bạn của em, um, bạn của em uh, nấu ăn chậm như rùa ừ. nấu ăn chậm như rùa so my friend cooks as slowly as a turtle because she wants to prepare everything you put everything everywhere around <cười> chậm như con ong à Hi Kamai, why? Why chậm như con ong? The B, why do you think the B is slow? Mm -hmm. Oh, Bashi, you are cleaning the house chậm như con rùa. Dọn dẹp nhà chậm như con rùa. <cười> so, uh, Bashi làm gì khi, khi dọn dẹp nhà? So, what are you doing while you cleaning the house? That, make, that makes it so slow. Or you can say like, ví dụ như em đọc sách chậm như con rùa vì em cảm thấy, uh, vì em cảm thấy buồn ngủ. So it, it means that I, I read book as slowly as a turtle because I, I feel very sleepy. <cười> mm. Joan là chị chạy, mm, you wanna say chị chạy chậm như rùa, right? You run as slowly as the turtle, right? Chậm như rùa nhá. Bạn ăn cơm chậm như rùa. <cười> yes, đúng rồi. Đúng rồi, ăn cơm chậm như rùa chính xác. Ok. Rồi, so yeah, we have the, the, the second simile which is chậm như rùa nhá. Means as slow as a turtle. Ok, tiếp theo Looking at the picture Looking at the pictures Người này ăn thế nào ạ? How do um, How is this person is eating? So we have four Four options Ăn như gà Ăn như lợn Ăn như mèo Hay là ăn như bò John nói là ra khỏi giường như rùa <cười> Chính xác uh, Đặc biệt là vào mùa đông Especially in the winter Won't got out of bed as slowly as a, as a turtle <cười> Vậy bây giờ, uh, bây giờ ở Mỹ là mùa gì ạ? Hả John? So what the season in, in your place now? Truy Vi Hồ nói là cô Trang nói chuyện chậm như rùa. So I'm, I'm talking as, slow, as slowly as a turtle. 
Cô Trang uh, đang đang đợi mọi người trả lời. So I'm waiting for your response. Bạn lái xe chậm như rùa. Mm -hmm. That's a very good one. Ô mình nói tiếng Việt chậm như rùa. Chính xác, đúng rồi. Very good. Vậy Trivial ơi, uh, Trivial nói tiếng tiếng Việt chậm có có nói tiếng Việt chậm như rùa không? Hãy Trivial. <cười> Okay, so can you tell me um, why you pick your answer, for example, Hakaima and Joan, why do you think it is ăn như bò and ăn như gà? What makes you think that? <laughs> Bashi chẳng biết đâu à? <laughs> okay, you will, you will know it in a, in a minute, very soon. <cười> ừ. Gần mùa xuân uh -huh. Yeah, almost là gần mùa xuân Yeah, so I think uh, I guess the, the weather is is good now mm, Because she looks picky Yes Picky, uh, yes, mm, that's a that that's a good reason. Picky tiếng Việt là kén chọn nhá. Trông uh, trông chị ấy rất kén chọn, đúng không? And then you think the chicken is picky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because that is Photoshop. <cười> ok, and Brandon nói là vì em ấy ăn ít uh -huh. Vậy, um, Brandon ơi, vì em ấy ăn ít So, um, uh, em ấy ăn giống con vật nào So, what do you think, uh, what do you get the animal here? Rồi, cô gái trong hình gầy quá And do you know why she is that thin? Maybe uh, she eats too little, right? She eats like just a, a piece of apple for a meal She eats very little, right? Okay, so here What I want to um, um, What I want to tell you here is um, The person who eats very little, okay? And in Vietnamese, we say that person ăn như mèo, okay? Người ấy, con người đó, ăn như mèo. So, eats as little as a cat. Okay? So, does anyone raise a cat here? Ở đây có ai nuôi mèo không? Và mèo của mọi người có uh, ăn nhiều không? Ăn nhiều hay ăn ít? So, does, uh, does anyone have a cat here? And uh, your cat eats a lot or eats a little? I know, I know that's gonna happen because Bashi is nói là trời con mèo của mình ăn như heo mà So your cat is like a pig? I know that <cười> Rồi, yeah, some cats eat, eat a lot But uh, I think maybe for for most of the cat they they eat little Yeah, expect, um, of course, ex uh, except for some um, <laughs> some cat, <laughs> it's like a pig. <laughs> well, so are you um, are you the person who is as little as a cat, or mọi người có biết ai ăn như mèo không? 
Oh, do you know anyone who eats like a cat? như mèo trivial không có mèo à mm -hmm. so do you have uh, do you have any pet trivial có nuôi con uh, vật nào không oh. John ở Mỹ chúng tôi nói ăn như con chim à uh, tại sao hả John tại sao lại nói à ah, ăn như con chim là ít Um, as little as a bird Ok, that's interesting Cảm ơn ạ, cảm ơn John Ok, and Joan too Bằng tiếng Pháp Cũng là như chim So in French it's, It is also um, as little As a bird mm -hmm. So it is very interesting to see the difference between languages. And do we have, um, do we have anyone who, who speaks different language other than Vietnamese and English here? What about your language? How do you say it as little as a cat in your language? Or I mean in your language, what, which animal, um, which animal is used to compare? To, uh, to compare with um, eating little Ok mm, Xin chào uh, Skip Row Che ạ Hakama mèo của tôi ngu lắm <cười> Ngu thế nào hả à, Hakama Nó làm gì <cười> Trivial không có mèo ừ. Nuôi một con mèo tên là Men Kun Men Kun là gì ạ? 8 cân ừ. Ok So No, so number 3 Number uh, the third uh, stimuli I want to introduce is Ăn như mèo nhé So now coming to the first uh, To the fourth one Ok, so the fourth Fourth one we have Hôi như blah 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 blah. So hôi, um, as you see in the picture, hôi means to smell, smell bad, or to sting, đúng không? Hôi. So we have hôi như cú. Okay, cú is an an o, o or l, o w l. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. O, or hôi như gà. Okay, hôi như So, hôi như trồn, the weasel that I already introduced, or hôi như bò. What do you think? Oh. Okay, so, hi Anna. Anna nói là Ba Lan, the, the Polish, in the Polish language, it also it as little as a bird and also in uh, Spanish Tây Ban Nha mm -hmm. yes oh wow Bashi you speak a lot of languages tiếng Pháp, tiếng Anh, tiếng Việt và tiếng Nhật mm. all languages so how long uh, Bashi how long um, let me ask you in Vietnamese Um, bạn học một ngôn ngữ mất bao lâu hoặc để nói tốt một ngôn ngữ mất bao lâu bashis hôi như châu uh -huh. yes can um And you have to experience uh, experience the animal to see if <laughs> if they sting if, if they smell <laughs> okay hôi như 
trao đoán là hôi như cú uh -huh. <coughs> Ok Any other guess? Có ai đoán là hôi như gì không? Ừ, hôi như bò hoặc hôi như trâu you ever like, seen a, a weasel or an owl, an owl in real life? And does it, does they, do they smell? I don't know because I have uh, never seen them before in real life, so I, I don't know. But the answer of this one is, so here you can see hôi như trồn và hôi như cú. It means as smelly as a weasel or as smelly as an owl. Okay, I, I maybe I know um, the we the weasel is smelly, um, but I'm not sure about the the owl uh, the owl. Okay, do you find it interesting? How you? Um, trồn và hôi như cú So uh, in your language Do you have uh, the animal simile That is similar to this one As smelly as something Do you have any? Simple like người mean which means the body. Okay, you can say người bạn anh hôi như cú. It means it means my friend's body smells. Đúng không? Is all it smelly? Đúng không? Bác sĩ nói là hôi như sầu riêng mm, cũng được. I think it's okay too. Yes, because a lot of people cannot take the smell of sầu riêng. Nhưng mà bác sĩ có thích ăn sầu riêng không? Có ăn được sầu riêng không? So ở đây có ai thích ăn sầu riêng không? So does uh, is there anyone here like eating durian? Because um bác sĩ said You can say as um, as smelly as a durian. <laughs> mm. To me, I think uh, I think so. Riêng is the smell is not 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 bad, not very very bad. It's it's okay. But it's good. It tastes good. I love sầu riêng. <laughs> em rất thích ăn sầu riêng. Đúng rồi. Em cũng thế, bác sĩ. Em cũng thích ăn sầu riêng. Mm. Oh, goat. Okay. So in. Uh, English, we can say as smelly as a goat. Mm, I didn't know that before. Con dê. Hakam, Hakama ơi. Goat là con dê, không phải con cừu. Con cừu là the sheep or the lamb. Mm, I didn't know that the goat is smelly. Mẹ, <cười> Sorry. 
mẹ của mình thích ăn sầu riêng à? So in your countries, no, I don't think so. In your countries, do do they sell durian or do they? I think maybe they have to import the durian, no? <cười> Người Pháp phù mát à? Hai hai anh Ryan. Anh Ryan nói là anh thích uống bia với người sầu riêng á. Durian man. What do you mean by saying người sầu riêng? Okay, so very interesting, right? Uh, as smelly as a weasel and as smelly as an o an o o or owl. Hôi như trồn hoặc hôi như cú. Okay? Yeah, so you can say uh, Người anh hôi như hôi như trồn or tất, your sock, tất của anh hôi như cú. Đúng không? Or even your room, your room is smelly. You can say phòng của anh hôi như cú. Đúng không? Okay. <coughs> Hello Siung Siung Jang. You are from um, Korea, right? Siung đến từ Hàn Quốc đúng không? Hakai my yes they sell durian only in the winter time. In Japan, ở Nhật Bản á. Okay, no, so let's move on to the next, um, to the next um, simile. So I will give you like a few seconds to read through the whole conversation first, and then I'll introduce later. Mm. Okay, anh đến từ Úc mà sinh ra. Ở Hàn, và sinh ra ở Hàn Quốc Vậy bây giờ um, Seung đang ở đâu ạ? Đang ở Úc hay ở đâu? So um, let, let, me, let me see Okay, owl, owl. Okay, I know how to pronounce the owl now. <laughs> Thank you. Cảm ơn uh, trivia nhé. No, mọi người ơi, <coughs> you you read um so you already finished reading the conversation, right? So this man is <coughs> like um, insist. Oh, the girl insists in uh, asking a girl out, even though she refused a few times, but she's He still um, he he keep texting and calling and asking her out. Okay, so in Vietnamese, um, this um, like this kind of person we call um, zai. Okay, we use a, an 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 adjective which is zai. Zai refer to people who is very persistent in doing something, but in negative way. And it's of, it often annoys other people. So, for example, this guy keep calling, keep texting, keep doing something, and makes other people very annoyed, very annoyed. So we we say zai, yeah. And actually, zai has two meanings. The first one that I already introduced to you, and the second meaning is chewy or tough. Use um, for food. For example, you can say. Thịt bò này rất dai Okay, so the beef is very tough Or you can say um, Cái bánh mì này rất dai Means um, The bread is very chewy Okay, so Two meanings So here 
are all uh, again four options for you to guess Zai Nhu Tho or Zai Nhu Tho or Zai Nhu Dia or Zai Nhu Cop Cop here means the tiger okay for for who don't know uh, who don't know yet Cop uh, is another way to say a tiger um, beside a hole okay so position as a dog or a buffalo or a leech or a tiger what do you think Siung bây giờ anh ở Hà Nội À ok Anh uh, Anh ở uh, Việt Nam bao lâu rồi Hai Kama nói là dai như chó Tại sao lại dai như chó do you, have, do you have any reason for that Tại sao ạ <cười> Sầu riêng ở nước tôi được nhập khẩu từ Việt Nam uh -huh. Chào đến từ nước nào ạ? Brandon, người này dai như trâu um. Ok, let's see, let's see. Bashis, vợ mình là con cò <cười> Ai dạy, ai dạy Bashis nói câu đó Who taught you <cười> say that? <cười> Dai như đỉa And again Charles Tại sao Charles nghĩ là dai như đỉa What makes you think it is a leech? John ơi, tại sao <cười> tại sao John nghĩ là a à, tại sao John nghĩ dai như chó? Do you, have, do you have any reason for that? Xem anh sống ở Việt Nam một năm hai tháng rồi. Ừ. Ok. Yeah. Anh Siung nói tiếng Việt khá tốt So, any idea? Any... Uh, yeah, any idea why it is It is Zai Nhu Chó Or even if, if you choose Zai Nhu Dia Why? Siêu cũng chọn là dai như đỉa ừ. Trivial cũng chọn là dai như đỉa Ok Yes So <cười> Yes, as, as some of you guess The answer is dai như đỉa Ok, and And do you know why? <cười> you know, um, when a leech is on your body it will it will it will it will not let go it, it will hold on very very firm firmly uh, onto your skin and to suck the blood um, uh, to, uh, yeah to suck the blood and it is only let go when it is full when it is full or it, it gets um, the amount of blood that that it needs so it's very hard to to remove it Um, from someone so that is why we call Zai Nhu Dia it means it's, it's very hard to um, oh sorry it means that um, uh, it's, it's very hard to uh, no sorry it's like it cling 
cling on to something, hold on, uh, hold on to something, or insist, or yeah, insist doing something. And uh, to right, to remove a, a leech, um, people often use like slaver or or lime, you know, to to apply on the uh, near near the uh, near the uh, on the skin near the I would say near the the pets that um, that the leech is on, so it will it will it will be removed. Mm -hmm. Đúng rồi. Yes. Yes, Châu là rất mạnh. Mm -hmm. Yes, Châu very strong. But yes, we want to say, uh, we want to say, yeah, about the position. It will let go. No? It is very persistent. Yes. So, dài như đỉa nhé. So, here is another example for you. You can... Uh, You can read the the, uh, the message. So A, the person A, người A, đúng không? Người A nói là sẽ trả tiền tuần sau, đúng không? And and then và sau đó tháng sau, người A hứa trả tiền và hai tuần nữa, hai tuần nữa uh, sẽ trả tiền nhưng chưa trả, đúng không? So here you can see the, the the person A promised to to pay the money next week and then next month and then um, the next two weeks. But then um, he or she hasn't paid the money. So we can say người này nợ tiền nhé. Nợ tiền là owe the money. Nợ tiền dai như đỉa. người này nợ tiền dai như đĩa. So can you um, make some sentences with dai như đĩa? Mọi người có thể đặt câu với dai như đĩa được không? Is there any uh, thing that you want to compare with um, you want to say like position as position as a leech Okay, so now we're moving on to the very last um, simile, okay? So, looking at the picture, what do you think um, I want to say here? And this is to compare with a buffalo, okay? Con trâu. So, do you think this person nặng như trâu or béo như trâu? Or lớn như châu, khỏe như châu, or mạnh như châu. What do you think? What do you think uh, is uh, like a buffalo? What characteristic? Nặng or béo or lớn or khỏe or mạnh? And do you understand the meaning of all these five words? Hmm. Okay, so I can see Siung nói là mạnh như châu, béo như châu, khỏe và mạnh như châu, khỏe như châu. Mm -hmm. can, can you tell me the meaning of 
all these five words? What, what is the difference between them? <coughs> mm. John, I, that's a very uh, good sentence. If you can say, he, he, like the, the kid cries a lot and, and for a long time, you can say, đứa trẻ khóc, okay? Khóc dài như đỉa means cry for a long time, cry persistently, đúng không? Béo như trâu, uh -huh. mạnh như trâu, yes. So what is the difference between nặng and khỏe? Yeah. Fat like a buffalo. I think fat fat for fat like a pig would sound better. You know buffalo some uh, but buffalo are very muscular because <laughs> they walk a lot. <laughs> Heavy, tall, and healthy. Mm. <coughs> so here we have nặng như trâu nhé. Nặng ở đây means heavy, okay, or strong, but in terms of like the taste. For example, you can say um, the coffee, cà phê rất nặng, or Một cà phê rất nặng hoặc là trà này rất nặng or the smell too ví dụ uh, món này mùi rất nặng it means this dish the smell is very strong it's not a physical um, physical condition mm. ok so nặng means heavy ok and béo everyone already knew béo means fat Okay, and learn means big. Okay, it's like to, it's like to mean big. Khỏe. There are two meanings in terms of like general health. It means good or well, but it also means strong. Okay, khỏe, strong. And mạnh means um, mạnh is like powerful. So. Yeah, to compare with a buffalo, in Vietnamese we say khỏe như châu, as strong as a buffalo, okay? And uh, you can say khỏe như voi, you know the word uh, voi, voi means the elephant, well, we can say khỏe như voi too, yes? Bác is béo bằng mập, exactly, đúng không? Same. So what about in, in your language, how to say a person who is as strong as something, what do you use? Do you also use um, the buffalo when you tell? I think uh, <coughs> we use buffalo because buffalo is a very <coughs> common animal and it's very close to Vietnamese people in the old time. Um, it's used to, how do you say, to plow and to do some work in the field, very strong. So that's why we, we say khỏe như châu. For nặng, for heavy, we can say nặng như voi, mm -hmm. because voi is like giant. So we can say we can say as heavy as an elephant, nặng như voi, mm, strong as an ox, mm -hmm. <coughs> good to know. <coughs> okay, so here is all animal similes that we've learned today, right? We have chậm như rùa, as low as a turtle, 
ăn như mèo as little as a cat eat as little as a cat dài như đỉa mean um, a position as a leech but in a negative way right khỏe như trâu as strong as a buffalo hôi như trồn or hôi như cú mean as smelly as an owl or a weasel and last one đông như kiến as crowded as the ants <coughs> đúng không? so yeah if you um uh if you have like animal simile like interesting animal simile in your language yeah please let let me know um i would love to know to see like in your in your countries how people compare things okay And now we can um, practice, okay? Practice all the um, all the phrases that we just learned. So I will have different situation, and um, you would, uh, your job is to choose a simile to describe the follow, um, yeah, the peep, the person in the situation, okay? So are you ready? Mọi người uh, đã sẵn sàng chưa? So, nếu, nếu mọi người sẵn sàng rồi thì mọi người hãy nói sẵn sàng hoặc là rồi vào comment nhé, vào phần bình luận. So, if you're ready, please say, um, please say rồi or sẵn sàng in the comment section and then we will start the practice exercise. Mọi người sẵn sàng chưa ạ? Are you ready? To test your memory <cười> Ok, rồi, tốt Mọi người đã sẵn sàng rồi Ok, vậy bây giờ chúng ta sẽ đến với tình huống thứ nhất. We will come to, uh, we will go to the first situation, alright? So the first situation is Vì Hà Nội trời rất lạnh, dưới 10 độ C, nên một tuần rồi. Nhu chưa tắm. Nhu here is the name of the person. So what do you think? Nhu thế nào? How is new? What do you think? Một tuần rồi nhu chưa tắm mọi người ạ. Nhu thế nào hả à, mọi người? So how is new everyone? Nhu không tắm Một tuần rồi Tuần trước Hà Nội rất lạnh Tuần trước Hà Nội chỉ có 8 độ C thôi So last week Hà Nội was very cold. It was only 8 degree. <cười> nhu hôi như trồn. <cười> nhu thối. Như đã hôi như cú. Uh -huh. Đúng rồi, no shower for a week, yes. So how is nhu à, siêu? Trồn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nhu hôi như cú đúng không? Yes, everyone. You got, you got it right. Đúng rồi. So yeah, nhu you can say nhu hôi như trồn or nhu hôi như cú. Okay. Mean nhu nhu smells really bad, right? Okay, rồi mọi người làm rất tốt. Good job, very good. Rồi, 
second situation tình huống số 2 nhé Linh sống cùng nhà với một bạn bị Covid Nhưng Linh không bị Covid Linh thế nào hả mọi người? Uh, ok John, uh, thank you for joining us today um, Yeah, I, um, I hope to see you in the next live stream Have a good day, bye bye New is watching this, everyone. <laughs> But is that true? Is that true, New? Did uh, Did you not shower for a week? Có phải New không tắm một tuần không? <coughs> đúng rồi, xe ôm ơi đúng rồi, New hôi như trồn là đau trồn nhá, trồn. Mm. So back to the second situation Linh sống cùng nhà với một bạn bị Covid Nhưng Linh không bị Covid Do you understand the whole sentence? <coughs> It means Linh, li uh, Linh lives in the same house with a person who got Covid-19 But Linh doesn't get Covid-19 So how is Linh? Linh thế nào ạ? Ừ. Linh khỏe như trâu, Linh khỏe như trâu uh -huh. Nhu không tắm một tuần là sai đúng không? Cái này để để Nhu trả lời cho bác Sĩ Nhu chỉ không tắm trong 4 ngày thôi bác Sĩ ạ Chỉ 4 ngày thôi Nhu <cười> thơm như sầu riêng Moon là khỏe như trâu um, Ok Linh khỏe như trâu What about um, other people? What do you think? Mọi người nghĩ gì? Um, Linh khỏe như trâu uh -huh. Yes So yes, she live in the same house With the COVID-19 person But she doesn't get COVID So yeah, Linh Linh is very healthy Đúng không? Strong. Exactly everyone Đúng rồi, mọi người nói đúng rồi Linh khỏe như trâu Chính xác Very good, chính xác Linh khỏe như trâu nhé uh -huh. Rồi tốt Tiếp theo này Number 3 Momo Momo is the name of the person Of a person <cười> Nickname Momo ăn cơm Hơn một tiếng rồi Chưa xong Vậy Momo ăn thế nào? À, mọi người. So Momo is eating meal um, more than one hour but hasn't finished. Still hasn't finished her meal. So how does Momo eat? Momo ăn thế nào mọi người? Rồi. Charles nói là Momo ăn cơm chậm như rùa <cười> Momo ăn như con mèo Hy vọng em ý không gầy lắm <cười> How about other people? What do you think? Uh -huh. Brandon nói là Momo ăn chậm như rùa uhm. Một tiếng rồi chưa ăn xong đúng không? Yeah, maybe the kids sometimes <cười> They eat very very In a very long time Đúng không? So yeah, we can say 
Yes, we can say mua mua ăn cơm đúng rồi. As you already said, chính xác mọi người ạ. Mua mua ăn chậm như rùa. Okay. Mua mua ăn rất chậm. It means uh, mua mua eats very slow, slow as a slowly as a turtle. Chính xác đúng rồi. Um. Mm. So um, Bashis và và Charles here um, it ở đây nói là mua mua ăn cơm hơn một tiếng rồi nhấn mạnh it focuses on hơn một tiếng rồi so it's a long time đúng không một tiếng là rất lâu nên ở đây nói là mua mua ăn chậm như rùa nhé ok rồi tiếp theo uh, number four situation number four Tuấn rất hay trêu trêu ở đây là to tease to tease somebody rất hay trêu bạn gái ngồi bên cạnh làm bạn ấy rất khó chịu. So the whole sentence mean Tuấn very um very often tease teases the girl who sits uh, next to him and it makes her very very annoyed, make her very uncomfortable. Vậy um, vậy Tuấn thế nào ạ? À? So how is Tuấn? He keeps teasing the girl who sits. He yeah he keeps teasing the girl who sits uh, who sits next to him. So how do you say in this situation? Anyone um, guess? Uh -huh. Yes. Charles nói là Tuấn ra như đỉa. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Tuấn là đỉa. <laughs> so Tuấn is a leech. <laughs> Tuấn là đỉa. Tuấn is pos as persistent as a leech. Chính xác. Uh, exactly, đúng rồi. You can say Tuấn dai như đỉa or you can say Tuấn đùa. It means joke or Tuấn trêu means te to tease, đúng không? Tuấn đùa dai như đỉa hoặc là Tuấn trêu dai như đỉa. Ok? Mean he joke as he, he jokes um, a lot. He keep teasing, he keep joking the girl um, sitting next to him, đúng không? As a leech, okay. Đúng rồi, tuấn ra như đĩa. Good job, everyone. Đúng rồi. And uh, here, next one. Hôm nay siêu thị giảm giá 50% các mặt hàng. <coughs> you know what it mean? Um, what this means? Giảm giá here means to discount. Okay, so today. The supermarket has the has the fifty percent discount of all products of all goods all products. So, so can you guess what what will happen to the supermarket today? The um, how will the supermarket be like? Fifty percent of all goods, all products, năm mươi phần trăm nhé. Vậy mọi người đoán hôm nay siêu thị sẽ thế nào? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good job everyone. Hôm nay siêu thị đông như kiến. Hôm nay siêu thị sẽ đông như kiến. Yes. Đúng rồi, đông. Exactly. Today, the, the supermarket market will be as busy or as crowded as the, as the ants. Đúng không? Yes, you can say siêu thị đông như kiến. 
chính xác ừ. Brandon ơi uh, we, we don't say bận, bận như kiến nhé Bận is like busy It means you have a lot of things to do But we say đông It means has a lot of people Đông như kiến Ok ừ. Ok and last one Mỗi bữa Thủy chỉ ăn nửa bát cơm là thấy no rồi Vậy Thủy Thủy ăn thế nào? Mỗi bữa means Each meal Thủy only eat like half Half a bowl of rice And then she feel full already So Thủy ăn thế nào? What do you think? <coughs> mỗi bữa mọi người ăn mấy bát cơm? So how many bowls of rice do you eat each meal? Mỗi bữa mọi người ăn uh, mấy bát cơm ạ? ăn như mèo thủy ăn như mèo uh -huh. đúng rồi như con mèo đúng rồi chính xác thủy ăn rất ít đúng không mỗi bữa nửa bát cơm là rất ít khá ít chính xác mình sẽ nói là thủy ăn như mèo chính xác đúng rồi mọi người ạ rồi rất tốt Hello, Stephen. Um, đông như kiến means um, very crowded, um, has a lot of people. Kiến means and, so we compare the situation with the ants like a lot of people are very busy. You can say quán cà phê, the coffee shop, quán cà phê đông như kiến nhé, means the coffee shop is very crowded, has a lot of people or very busy today. Ok Ok rồi mọi người ơi So that is all um, For today's um, live stream So I hope you You learn something today And you can apply um, To your speaking every day I'm sure that will make Your speaking sounds a lot more fun And more interesting Okay, so if 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 you still have any question, you can you can just ask me. You can let the uh, leave the comment in the yeah in the comment section, and then I'll I'll answer later. But yeah, and that is um the uh, that is the end of the live stream today. Rồi cảm ơn uh, mọi người rất nhiều. Thank so thank you everyone a lot for joining us today and to join and to participate very actively in today's live stream and uh, we've been uh, we've been through a few live streams so far about a lot of uh, about a lot of topics do you have any topic in your mind that you want to that you want us to talk about yeah or you want to learn about can you let can you let us, uh, us know Mm. Xin chào Jinping it's, it's the end of, of the lesson already Yeah, it's a little bit re, um, a, re, a pity because you cannot join from the beginning But hope to see you in the next uh, in the next live stream We have the live stream on uh, every Wednesday evening At 7pm 7, 7 Vietnam time So yeah, hope to see you there Ok, cảm ơn mọi người. Cảm ơn em rất nhiều. Chúc mọi người buổi tối vui vẻ nha. Cảm ơn mọi người rất nhiều nha. Vì đã uh, ủng hộ và khích lệ. So thanks a lot for your support and your encouragement. 
So, uh, yeah, if you have any uh, question for us, you can uh, reach us on um, Facebook, uh, YouTube, or you can drop us an email to info at uh, com. And if you um, enjoy the live stream so far, you can support us on patrons and the link I already placed on the screen and uh, there is one more thing <laughs> one minute for advertisement <laughs> uh, at TVO we have new classes opening and they are all online classes So, and these are all group online group class so we have two classes for beginner that is on the information is on the screen 8 or 8 p.m. on Wednesday and Sunday or 9 a.m. on Monday or Thursday so that's for beginner and also for there is one uh, another group class for intermediate so if you are interested in or if you have any friends who is interested in a uh, Vietnamese lesson you can uh, yeah, introduce uh, for us and yeah you can drop us an email at info com as on the screen okay so that's it um, that's the end of today's live stream so I hope um, who uh, who is in Vietnam now has a good night and um, people in other countries you have a nice day okay rồi cảm ơn mọi người rất nhiều uh, hẹn gặp lại mọi người trong uh, các live stream tiếp theo So see you in the next live stream. Um, see you my private lesson. Yeah, we do have private lesson. We have one on one, like face to face class, online one on one classes, and also group classes. So see you. Cảm ơn mọi người nhé. Yes, uh, I hope to see you in the next live stream, um, Stephen. See my private lesson. And we, yeah, we do have we start at 7 p.m. Yes, we have one-on-one -on -one, like face-to-face -face class, okay. online one-on-one -on -one classes, and also group classes. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye-bye, mọi người. Cảm ơn mọi người.